A new idea is blending energy and agriculture to power some homes in the Midwest. Aaron Hassanzada of our CBS station WCCO in Minneapolis has more. Nestled in this quiet patch of unproductive farmland in Wasika, Minnesota. Okay, in we go. There's a clash of old. There they are. And new. Come on over. Let's see if they've come for us. Come on, girls. Arlo Hark's flock is hard at work in this now solar garden. She's always skittish. Her name's Leah. <laughs> So you're wondering why they're here, and it actually has nothing to do with solar panels. It's about what's underneath them. Sheep have their own particular kind of uh, skill set. They're grazing, essentially mowing the lawn, churning the land to help restore a native prairie habitat underneath the panels. This would be a much bushier, much bigger plant. Part of a growing trend to find a second purpose for land beneath renewables. Minnesota's really been a leader in saying, well, can't we use that land for something more than just growing grass? Um, and so, you know, we think of the land as something that we now have to care for. We've got to be a good neighbor to that farmer, that community. You can see the difference from the air. The left side is mowed, the right grazed by Arlo's sheep. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like hiring a landscaper. It's like, hey, I'm not hiring the mower, I'm hiring the sheep guy. It's not like people are running around with huge flocks of sheep today, but they're building them. It's really entrepreneurial. Call it a modern style of agriculture. All these sites need vegetation management. Expanding technologies of the future while restoring landscapes of the past. I think that it's a really incredible tool to have. For CBS News, I'm Erin Hassanzada, Wasika, Minnesota.